Now we're on section 1.8, which is on absolute value equalities and inequalities. So just to review, absolute value means the distance from zero. So if we say absolute value, which is denoted by the vertical lines, is equal to four, there's two solutions, right? Because absolute value means distance from zero. If we're four away from zero, you can either be at positive four or negative four. So my solution to that is either negative four or positive four. Um, when we get to inequalities, if I said absolute value of x is less than four, that means that my distance from zero has to be between four and negative four. So it's all the values in here. Right, so my solutions are x is greater than negative four but less than four. And then the third case that we have is if absolute value of x is greater than four, then that means that it's either less than negative four or greater than four, right? Because if I want the distance to be at least four, then x is less than negative 4 or x is greater than positive 4. So these are the main three cases that we'll see when some absolute value of a value or if we have less than or greater than and then we can have equality and all that changes is a line below. So with that, um, one more thing to mention, if we have absolute value of a is equal to absolute value of b, that means two things. One, absolute value, oh, sorry, not absolute value, A equals B, or two, A equals negative B. So the values are the same, but it might be one might be positive and the other one might be negative. So that's what we're going to use when we're solving. I'll abstract, oh, sorry, <laughs> absolute value equations. So if we have 5 minus 3x, the absolute value, is equal to 12, we're going to have to solve for when 5 minus 3x is equal to 12. And then the next one is going to be when 5 minus 3x is equal to negative 12. Because the absolute value of negative 12 and positive 12 is equal to 12. And then from here you just solve. right? So you subtract 5 to both sides, so I get negative 3x equals 7. right? Because I have to subtract 5 here and I have to subtract 5 here. And then I divide by negative 3, so I get x equals negative 7 thirds on this one. And then for this one, I also subtract negative 5, but my result is going to be negative 17. And then if I divide by negative 3, I get 17 over 3. So my two results is negative 7 halves, or sorry, 7 thirds, and then 17 thirds. So I could do my solution set is negative 7 thirds or 17 thirds. And that's for equality.